teachers and our community. My name is Janice Benson, and my children attended school here or are still enrolled here as well as I did. Track Center is a wonderful place to raise a family and to go to school. The phrase it takes a community to raise a child is even more important today as students are held to a higher standard and are really involved in busier lives than ever before. Having said that, we need to be a community that works together to teach our students, our children, by example, that this truly can be done. We have a serious problem at hand with our school budget. I think we are all aware of that. Many ideas of how to solve this problem have been or will be presented. Everyone that comes forward or has come forward, in my opinion, should be complimented. Intentions are good and are truly doing what they feel is right for our school, our children, and our community. I encourage the board to listen and to consider all suggestions and questions that are brought forward to you because really they are coming forward from people that truly want to help, understand, and get involved. Regarding our teachers who are being affected by the cut, I will touch on the faculty that I know. The ones that I admit, it is just because I do not know them or do not have a personal account to give a voice on that opinion. They are equally important and needed. Mrs. Bicey, my children absolutely embraced her as a teacher. They learned so much from her. She teaches in a way that she connects with students and making it fun to learn and using modern technology to reach them. Mr. Boucher, I still remember the commencement speech he gave a number of years back about riding the wave of life. The gist of the speech that I remember was, dealing with what comes your way in life, as many times things will not go as planned. This came at a time of previous budget cuts that he was affected by. His position was uncertain. I walked away feeling how awesome it is that he can speak about something that is personal in his life and talk about it in a positive way to teach our children the reality of life. How fortunate we are to have him here to share his gift of teaching to our students. Mr. Allen, he is a respected member of our community, a teacher, and a coach. He has brought his family here and has made Sac Center his home. He gives countless hours as a teacher, volunteer, and a coach. He has shared his passion for science for many years. He opened up an opportunity for many students to travel to the Cayman Islands to learn by the experience. In his involvement in sports, he gives 100% effort to teach, coach, and to be a mentor to our children. A good example. Mr. Schreiner. Students relate to him. An excellent teacher and a coach, he has built an awesome swimming program. So again, by example, he is a leader and has taught students that hard work and determination will make you succeed. Certainly a very positive person and excellent role model for our children. Teachers, we need to keep them. Students need continuity to build on the subject, the sport, and the relationship with their mentor. When there is continual change, that, does, that will not happen. The learning progress is stunted and interrupted. So I feel the present recommendations to cut in these areas are just not a viable solution. Administration. All schools and businesses need to have qualified personnel to lead. Personally, I do not know what each position entails and what their duties are that need to be fulfilled. But what I do know is that I've always been informed on a school setting on what is going on. I've always invite, felt invited to come in and talk if I had a question or a concern. I've always felt welcomed as a parent. When an administration does not do their job, I feel we would see unorganization and confusion. And I do not see this at this time. Now back to the problem at hand, our budget. We need a well-run school by qualified, educated, administration. We need teachers and choices in electives for our students to learn academically. We need athletics, extracurricular activities for our students to learn teamwork, learn sport, art, drama, music, instruments, whatever it is that they want to be active <coughs> in their school and to be involved. Something constructive to do with their time while developing their talents. 
It is an important part of their high school years, and we need to keep these programs and courses available to be able to give each student a chance to choose what is important to them and be exposed to multiple choices. By having all of the above, we will be a choice that families are looking for to enroll their children here. If there's a way that administration can give a portion of their pay, and I'm just going to say a figure of 10%, I know that is asking truly a lot. And also for teachers that have not already had a reduction in pay, to each give a small percentage of their pay or take a pay freeze to cover the school shortage. That would go a long way. The percentage is higher for administration because wages are higher and the public's viewpoint from what I have heard is that is where we, or they, the public, want the cuts to be made. Yet we are all in this together, so wouldn't it be fair to ask the teachers to either take a reduction or a freeze as well? You may not be affected now, but what about next time? If we see declining enrollment, when will it hit you? I do not have numbers, so I do not know how far this would go to help our budget, but at the very least, it would be a great start and an advance into the deficit. If this is done, I feel our community would feel they have been heard. There is a give and take, and most important, students will not lose great teachers. Teachers and administration would keep their jobs. I feel the community would be more likely to give in the future, whether it is through volunteering, donation, or voting yes in possible upcoming referendums in years to come, as we have voted yes in the past referendums to show support to our school. As a community, we need to keep our school running smooth. That means an administration, teachers, academic choices, and extracurricular activities. If we do not offer these items, excuse me, these important opportunities for our students and have the qualified staff and administration, we will lose enrollment and thus further budget problems. <coughs> Losing enrollment, this can be in any number of ways. It can 